G'day, I'm Dan from Team Legend Caravans. Today, I'm doing pork belly bows with a raspberry and miso barbecue sauce. Oh, Dan from Team Legends Caravan. G'day, champ. How well, you I doing? love seeing what you're cooking today. That is a beautiful yeah. a pork belly. I can smell a bit of miso and raspberry. Oh, you've got a you've got a keen snoz, my friend. Yeah, keen yeah. snoz I have. And you're making pork bow. Yeah, so all of this yeah. will be uh, crispy and delicious yeah. and then sliced up dipped into the miso, uh, fried off again so it's nice and crispy and glazed, and then into a nice pillowy bowl with Beautiful. some pickles the and some things. Bowl. Now what I would love to see here, and folks, we can just have a look at that there, what you've done, you've scored the pork belly, yep. and you've salted it and put it in the fridge for a good half an hour or so. Uh, you want to do, uh, you score it and salt it, and you want to leave it uh, uncovered in the fridge for as long as you can, because right. it just brings as much moisture out sort of cures the top of the skin and you just get a really nice crispy uh, crackle at the end. And then after all you do is you, you just... We just want to get this puppy as dry as possible. Okay, we'll get this puppy on. Woof! So we uh, looking good, smelling great. See you soon. Catch you, Jeff. My main tip when cooking pork belly, start a few days in advance. I like to score, trim down my pork belly, salt it up and then leave it on a baking tray uncovered in the fridge. That'll bring the moisture to the top and dry out that skin as much as possible because at the end of the day, that's what you want. You want the skin as bone dry as possible and then you get a really nice crispy crackle. <laughs> ah, Dan, 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 Team Legend Caravans. Pork belly is in the oven. Yep, so it's looking good. We're getting oh, some yeah. nice crispiness. You know, my heart rate's going down as the crispiness goes up, you know what I'm saying? No more nerves, more crackle. Whoop. And then here? Yeah, so this is kind of the last step. I'll be steaming these bow buns in this little guy here. Get her out, place them all nicely, lay some pork in there once it's glazed, some herbs, some textural bits. Yeah. Well, Dan, if it tastes as good as it smells, I'm really looking forward to it. And you know what? I might just have a sneaky yeah, pop in. Of... Have, a, have a little peepo. I <laughs> will. Well. Right, my main tip when doing bow buns, try and source the most uh, high quality ones you can, hopefully somewhere from Taiwan, because after all, that is the home of the bow. Oh, here we go. Man, the man, the man, the man, the Dan himself. Look G'day, at him, that's a legend. Team. What do you got for us, front? All right, so we've got some pork belly bows. The yeah. pork belly is uh, glazed in a miso and raspberry barbecue sauce. We've got some homemade radish pickle and a little bit of greenery on the top and some crackle just to Beautiful. finish it off. All right, enjoy. Thanks, Dan. Just put the plate up to the team and I'm really excited. The raspberry and miso barbecue sauce worked out perfectly, in my opinion. And yeah, I just don't see why I won't win today, because I'm a champion. <laughs> <laughs>